Hello viewers, welcome to another video on D-Roy, you're in Galactic Blue. So this episode is gonna be of glasses, a second version that I actually noticed. If it's right, it's actually a better way to actually import some glasses over here to the model without making hair, but it's a little bit tricky. Let's get to it. First, let's make that another freehand group. Because then, it'll actually will make it better to see where the actual frame is going to be set. You just have to make sure that's actually fitting right there. In order to make duplicate of whatever material that you have there, you make this way much better. Alright, so now go to texture. Look for the last texture that you made, which is the color, by the way. And go to Default image, right click, and import. When you're finished importing, it should be appearing over here. If it doesn't, you can just You can just erase all of it. Why aren't you? To make this little better, you just have to zoom in a little bit. And just erase almost the entire background so that way you can actually see what's actually going on and it'll be basically a transparent look let's see if we just keep erasing everything from one side to the other. Now, if this is actually correct, I should be seeing a better version of it. Let's give it a try. Always remember the duplicate. And this part of it. Be clear. You need to have the little, the file for the glasses. It has to be on a PNG file. 
Now you can convert it from J P and G to P N G. It's not gonna work. It has to be made by default on P N G. Otherwise, it's not gonna accept it. It's gonna come up like a giant question mark, and that's basically it. So if you're doing it from scratch. Be sure on the image editing software you have it on PNG file. Otherwise, it's not gonna happen. If you're using someone else that has been authorized to, you can just upload over here and make sure you erase the background. So once you do that. You should be able to do the frame, you know, the actual painting normally. It should be giving you, hopefully, a dirt line. And it's a promising result. Let's see if I can do it right. Once it's a little off. Okay. I have it better. You should be seeing something like this. Now, since it's basically made on hair, I can just move it freely. So that way. I can just make it match. And once I do that, it should be fine. In my case, I just need to make a small adjustment. You see what I was referring to? Make sure it's actually aligned. Here. It shows that it's, it isn't. So in my case, I'll just adjust as best as I can at the moment. Then you'll be looking a whole lot like that. And you know, I'm nice and weird thing. This is a slightly different version. I'll just try to adjust it. If I do it right, massive emphasis on if. Because in this case, the glasses are kind of delicate. Very sensitive bad, so you, you really need to be sure what are you doing and what are you painting. Afterwards, it's just a small, it's just a breeze actually. A little bit off, but I can actually use this.
it seems like the maintenance thread has there we go almost hmm is this side and this Small adjustment, but there's much to be done. And that should be it for this tutorial. This is a basic way of importing glasses when you already have a design. Like this one. Okay. Okay, no wrong. But like this one, they already have a frame, already made, they design. Then you're just trying to import it. This is how it's actually done. You want to make small adjustments or anything like that. You can just go ahead and do it. Alright, so that should be all from this video. If you like it, you can press like, thumbs up, share, comment, 